Cysteine is an important amino acid, and among other things, amino acids form the building blocks of proteins, and proteins form the machinery of the cell, which is very, very important. In animals, cysteine was thought to be only generated through the transulturation pathway, in which the cystatine and beta synthase enzyme, or CBS for short, plays a key role. Intriguingly, it was repeatedly reported that corals of the genus Acrocora do not have this CBS enzyme, and it was postulated that maybe they receive cysteine via the algal symbiont. So we generated a high quality genome assembly for the coral Acropora ripens, and I started to analyze it by looking for the CBS gene, which was missing from the locus where we expected it to be found. This confirmed what previous reports suggested. But we still had the problem of a crop or not having the machinery to synthesize this state. So we decided to not only look at what we know other animals can do, but to look elsewhere in life. And plants, bacteria, and fungi have different ways to synthesize this state. So we analyzed the genome of a crop or and found two proteins greatly resembling two fusion gene proteins belonging to a recently discovered cysteine biosynthesis pathway. It was exciting. So we decided to put these coral proteins into yeast mutants that cannot synthesize cysteine and see if these coral proteins can recover the capabilities to synthesize cysteine. We were really pleased to observe that they did allow yeast to grow in the absence of cysteine, showing that the crop corals have the machinery to synthesize cysteine. Then we asked ourselves if this was unique to acropora and looked for these proteins in other organisms. To our surprise, we found these proteins to be almost everywhere, yet in animals, they were missing in vertebrates, nematodes, and arthropods, exactly the organisms where most of our knowledge of animals comes from. So it was, of course, surprising to us to find out that these corals can actually synthesize cysteine when it was thought that they cannot. But what was maybe the more valuable lesson that we learned from this study is that knowledge can sometimes put you in a box because you have certain assumptions that are not necessarily true. In this case, the assumption that animals have only one pathway to produce cysteine. And what this tells us is that whenever we sequence or study a new organism, we have to do so the blank slate without pre-assumptions, looking at the organism, at the genomes, and try to understand what the capabilities actually are. 